whatever you're doing, please put it away, obviously not this video, but try and pay attention and watch till the end of this video because I'm going to share some very important tips and also at the very end and throughout the video I want to share very important tips related to these methods that you probably haven't heard before. Uh, you know, based on my, my eight or eight or more years of experience. So I'm going to share the top three lucid dreaming methods. These are the most common and also, in a way, the most effective methods or techniques that you can use. Now, I understand there is a difference between method and technique. In, for, this, for the context of this video, when I say method, I'm pretty much using the, that because that's what most people understand. I mean technique, method, I mean the same thing. The first method, or the first technique, is the wake back to bed method. Now. I have made other videos about this, I have made other videos about the wake back to bed, but in a nutshell what you do is you set your alarm to go off after six hours of you having normal sleep, and then when it goes off, you wake up, turn your alarm off, then go lay back, then you lay back in the bed and go back to sleep with the intention of having a lucid dream. Now, when you do this, it's important to keep your mind awake and aware. So you constantly tell yourself, I'm gonna stay awake, and you in sort of you sort of escape into your own mind, let your body fall asleep, you might experience sleep paralysis, and then you go back to sleep. Now, a few things about the way you're about to bed. Firstly, it's gonna interrupt your sleep, it's gonna make you tired, but it is effective. So if you ever need a quick, instant lucid dream, the way back to bed is very effective. Okay, so the second technique is actually more of a, more of a sort of, t uh, strategy, I guess you could say. It's the miles, the, the mnemonic induced lucid dream. Now, with that title comes all the things that you should be doing anyway, the fundamentals. So the mild is all about having natural or spontaneous lucid dreams. It's sort of the holy grail, it's what every lucid dreamer is aiming for, uh, to be able to just naturally lucid dream every night. And there are lots of people who say they can naturally lucid dream anyway, uh, and they're sort of the lucky ones. But for, this, for the context of this video, the mild technique involves just constantly affirming to yourself throughout the day things like, I will lucid dream, I can control my dreams, etc. So you constantly affirm those things. You also do things like you visualize the dream that you want to have uh, just before going to sleep. So just before going to bed at night, you visualize the, the sort of dream you want to have. Uh, I've made another video about that as well. And then over time, you know, including doing your reality checks, meditating, and writing your dreams down, these things all constitute the mild technique. And if you do them over time, um, eventually you'll have spontaneous lucid dreams. Now, a few tips or sort of secret hacks you can use with the mild technique, um, just before we get on to the last method, are you should do a reality check as soon as you wake up because this will allow you to cut through all the false awakenings and you know if you have lots of false awakenings or you get stuck in that sort of feedback loop in the morning where you constantly dream about waking up and then go back to the dream if you do a reality check every time you wake up then eventually you're never going to have false awakenings because every time you you have one you'll do a reality check become lucid and then you can either decide to wake up normally or to enter the lucid dream and just continue the dream so that's the first tip for the mild. The second one is to always write your dreams down as soon as you remember them. It's very easy to think, okay, well I remember this dream, so I can just wait until later, wait until I've had breakfast, and then write it down. That almost never happens unless your memory's really good or you've been practicing for a while. Almost always what happens is, if you don't write it down immediately, you'll forget the dream within about two to three minutes. It's very easy to do. I've forgotten loads of really good dreams this way, and it's you know it's not what you should be aiming for. You should, as soon as you remember the dream, write it down. This will help you with the mild, but also lucid dreaming in general. It will just help you to become more spontaneously lucid more often. So the last one is the wild. Now these are obviously common techniques. This, that's why this video is the most common, the, the three most common techniques or methods. But the wild is something that is really elusive for most lucid dreamers. It's again, it's really what we're aiming for. Wild involves being able to stay constantly awake throughout the whole process. So you stay awake, then you let your body fall asleep, much like the wake back to bed, and then you enter the lucid dream in one continuous movement. Now, the important thing about this is that you can do the wild, you can perform a wild any time of day or night. So for example, if you had a nap during the middle of the afternoon, you could actually perform the wild and become lucid in the middle of the day. And this is something that a lot of people would find very useful, especially if you have like a high high pressure job or something. You can actually do this like on your lunch break. You could just have a nap, perform the wild, and then enter a lucid dream for uh, 5, 10, 15 minutes, or, or uh, about that length of time. So, so with the wild, what you're doing is exactly the same as with a wake back to bed. You're basically going to fall asleep or you know let your body fall asleep experience and go through sleep paralysis while keeping your mind awake 
And there are lots of ways you can do this. The most common or you know, the simplest way is just to focus on the hypnagogic imagery that you're gonna see. So when you close your eyes, if you focus only on one thing, and that is keeping your mind awake, after five or 10 minutes, you're gonna to start to see patterns, colors, and like swirling images flashing over your awareness or your vision. Now, what you should do is just not try and interact with them, but let them happen. Be aware of the patterns and the shapes that, are, that you're experiencing, but don't try and interact with them or you know look at any particular one area of the shapes. Just experience everything as a whole. And what that will do is let your, it will let the shapes fade into the dream scene. The dream scene will manifest itself around you. And because you've kept your mind awake and you've kept your consciousness there, um, you're going to enter the lucid dream. And that's what a wild method, that's what a wild lucid dream is, awake induced lucid dream. So there are a few tips with that. Obviously, firstly, if you meditate every morning and every night, it's going to really help you to be able to stay focused while this happens. One of the most common things people do is they try and have a wild and just end up falling asleep um, because it's really hard to keep your mind awake while your body goes through sleep paralysis and while you actually enter a dream. So focus on meditating twice a day. That will really help with the focus and awareness. Also do reality checks so that when you're actually in the lucid dream, you can stabilize it by doing a reality check or by using a prolonging technique that I've spoken about before. So that's pretty much it guys, that is the three top lucid dreaming techniques or you know lucid dreaming methods that you can use uh, to become lucid. These are beginner friendly. Um, if I had to pick one, I would say focus on the middle one, the mild, because that's the one that's gonna give you random lucid dreams, spontaneous lucid dreams. A way back to bed's good and it's reliable but it's also gonna interrupt your sleep and that's something that I wouldn't recommend you do because lucid dreaming or not, you know, sleep is important and you need to get a good quality of sleep every night. So that's it guys, if you enjoyed this video please subscribe, like and leave a comment. See you next time.